channel. My name is Aviana. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Nice to meet you. If you're returning, then thank you for watching. Um, so I asked Twitter what you guys wanted to see more of. And surprisingly, you guys wanted to see my hair. Um, my hair is like 4B, 4C, mainly 4C. Um, and I'm going to be trying out a wash and go today. I haven't tried one since I big chopped, which is ugh, scary. And it was a mess. But we're going to try it today. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of my favorite products that I usually use for, you know, styles like braid outs and um, twist outs. Love them. Um, so I've already started with one section and we got a little bit of definition going here. It looks really, really good. Really happy about it. Um, but first thing I did was I sectioned my hair into three parts, two up front, one in the back, and then um, I just use a clip in the back to separate the parts that I'm working on. Um, so let's get started. So I like to follow a modified version of the um, lock method. Now the lock method, if you don't know, it's liquid, oil, then cream. Um, I like to do a liquid, a cream slash leave-in conditioner, um, and then gel and then oil. Um, I like to do it this way because I find that it gives me more definition and my hair feels a little bit more hydrated at the end. So I'm gonna take a section in the back, put away the rest, and then I'm gonna spray it down with some water. Now, I should probably work in a, in a section smaller than this so you know what I'm gonna actually make this section a little bit smaller because I think for today my goal is going to be maximum definition like extreme definition mainly because I just want to see what my hair can do um like I said I don't do wash and goes I feel like they're really time consuming and they don't last as long as I want them to so I just don't do them. And then honestly, I don't know. I feel like the way my hair is set up, <laughs> my shrinkage is insane. My shrinkage is ridiculous. And I like that extra stretch that um, styles like braid outs and twist outs give you. So the next thing I'm gonna use is my favorite leave-in conditioner. It is the Bella Curls Coconut Whipped Cream Leave-in Conditioner. And this stuff, let me tell you, is amazing. It gives me crazy slip and it even gives me definition, which is a plus. So I'm gonna take a, a full pump, not a half pump, but a full pump um, and go in. And I like to smooth it in. And you can see it's already clumped my curls together. And you can even see it's it's most definitely giving me some definition, which is highly appreciated. Um, and then I like to go in and rake. That way it separates the curls a little bit more. Sorry if I'm looking that way. I have a mirror that way. And I'm still new to YouTube, so it's a habit for me to look in a mirror instead of in the camera. The next thing I'm going to take is the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating along, along Curling Gel. Now this stuff is amazing. If you have type 4 hair, I completely recommend it. It, um, it gives insane definition. Like the definition is out of this world with this stuff. Um, one thing I will say though is if you're very sensitive to scents, you got to be careful with this one because it has a perfumey smell that can be a little overbearing at times. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I've, I've had a headache because of this stuff, but beauty is pain. And if I want the definition, then I'm going to just have to suffer with the headache. <laughs> I know that's so bad. That's so, so bad. So I'm going to go in break a little bit and then sometimes I'll go in and do the shingling method. Shingling method if you don't know is where you individually go in and you manipulate the curls a little bit to give them a little help. Sometimes I, I see 
more frizz than I, I want to see. And so, yeah, just go in a little bit, help them out, you know, help them reach their maximum potential. The last thing you want to do is shake. Shaking your hair separates the curls that have clumped together. So, you know, it does a little something, something, a little something, something, nothing too drastic, you know? All right, so we're going to move on to the next section. And I'm just going to come back when I'm working on the front of my hair. So I've done majority of my head and now I'm just going to work on this front section. And um, like I said, the, ma the majority of my looser texture is here in the front. It's like 4B, 4A. So I'm going to try to not use as much gel as I have been using on the rest of my head. Um, and here you'll be able to see better the technique I use to get maximum definition. So the first thing I'm going to do is section this apart. Um, not gonna lie, I haven't decided how I want to part my hair. Do you want to do a side part today? Hmm? Mm. Side part be cute? Let's try a side part. So, and of course, I didn't bring my comb, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my rat tail comb. And I'm just going to make as clean a part as possible. That looks pretty decent. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to take the rest of this hair and get it out of the way. I'm going to start on this section. Oh, man. It's a pretty small section, so we're really going to try and be mindful of the amount of gel that we use. going to spritz it down, rub it in, detangle a little bit. And then I'm going to take, just going to dip my finger, just going to dip my finger in there. And what I like to do is, and I feel like it does a huge difference, I'm going to hold it, the hair in my hand, and just get the ends and coat it in the gel. And you see that completely stretched out the end. So it makes it so much easier. My ends are going to be clumped together and super defined. And then I'm just going to work my way up. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more so the rest of my hair can get some gel on it, like towards the root. And then I'm just going to go in and rake, rake, and then smooth, and then rake again. And I feel like alternating between raking and smoothing, you can literally feel your, your hair strands clumping together. So, right. So, now you see that it's really defined. And you can go in and take, like, you know, each of these clumps and separate them some more. You know. And that's optional. It just depends on how you like your hair to look. I like to separate them just a little bit like this section I'm going to take and separate. And there you are. You got some nice little curls. I'm just going to shake that out a little bit and then I'm going to move on, move on to the, the other side of the part. I'm just going to speed up this section because I'm just doing what I was doing before.
now my hair is done and it's my hair dries pretty fast so it shouldn't take more than three hours for it to dry so I'll come back in three hours and show you guys what it looks like when it's done okay